day two and I actually managed to sleep all the way through the night, which means I actually had a really big burst of energy. So we made our way back towards the Fringy Grill in order to get some more breakfast, starting the day with yet another coffee and some more pineapple juice. I didn't waste any time and I went straight to the toast rack to make some freshly baked toast along with some booby butter. And the first thing we noticed while having breakfast is that the weather had seemingly cleared up. I went for three poached eggs. I didn't realise there was going to be three. It was quite a lot of food actually. And my wife went for some scrambled eggs with hash browns and mushrooms. We also got some danishes to polish it off and then finish off with a latte. Mmm, lovely. A fit check. Check it out. We went down to the pool. As you can see, it was glorious weather already. This was about 7.30 in the morning and I immediately became the best lizard I could be. The weather forecast told us it was going to be raining and thunderstorms all day. It was wrong. A quick reminder that we are in the middle of a rainforest. Just to really showcase how bad these thunderstorms were, gosh, we could barely stay out and it was a really hard day. Uh, they kept coming around with fruit cocktail sticks and then really ice cold towels to put on your face. <sighs> Just what you need when you're absolutely baking. As you can see, I had a really miserable day. We had some poolside snacks, we had some nonya chicken and we had some crispy potato wedges and they were absolutely delightful, especially with the spicy dipping sauce. We stayed out till about four o'clock in the afternoon then we made our way back up to the room where we had some home comforts. Don't ask me who this is, this is some sort of BAFTA award winning comedian, Scottish. As you can see the weather really picked up, here's another look from the balcony without the pouring down rain. It really, uh, it really is quite breathtaking. Following a quick relax, I went in for a nice hot shower in that nice wet room. Fit check for the evening. We made our way down towards the canapes again, where we indulged in some delightful treats we had on offer. We had some fish, we had some dumplings, uh, some quiches, some fried things, this and that. And we had ourselves a few nibbly bits. And more importantly, we indulged in some drinks. I opted for Long Island iced tea while the wife opted for a glass of white. Uh, then I had about four or five of these Long Island iced teas and let me tell you, they do not skimp on the alcohol. That evening we made our way back towards Long Beach and we decided to have something a bit more special for dinner. So after finding our table, we decided to indulge ourselves with a nice cool frosty glass of tiger beer. And then my wife decided to go for sizzling prawns. As you can see, it looks like it's made a whole year. I opted for some sizzling noodles and they were absolutely delicious. As well as that, we had some roasted mushrooms and as well, the island's favorite, some satays. And after many, many glasses of tiger beer, we made our way back through the night market on the way back to the hotel. Batty Fringi is notorious for its incredible night market where you can absolutely find some great deals if you're willing to look around for them. On our way back to the hotel, we stopped at a local supermarket to pick up some supplies, some drinks, and some crisps, and some pandas. Then we sat down and enjoyed some silly Scottish man on twitch.tv, and then we opened up the pandas, and then we went to sleep. Good night.